morning everyone. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm about to get started with a cervical disc replacement at a Surgery Center today. Just wanted to walk you through the whole process, let you know kind of how things go. I've already sat down, met with the patient, reviewed the films. We spent a lot of time in clinic with her, going over her pathology and why we think, why I think she needs the surgery and why she's going to do well. And she's pretty pumped about it. She's a little nervous, but that's kind of expected. Uh, we're about to go back in the OR. She's uh, intubated at this point. I'm just getting ready to, to go back. And so, excuse me here, I'll put my surgical hat on and uh, get my face mask on. And uh, I'm gonna go over some films with you. I'll show you what we're operating on, take some pictures from surgery, and uh, hopefully this will be educational for you. More to come. So I'm getting ready to uh, go back and do this surgery. This is, a, again, a cervical disc replacement, C6-7, pretty common level. <coughs> um, patient's been struggling with pain in her arm, primarily on the right side for, I think, greater than six months now. It all started after a car accident. That's a fairly reasonable time that you can have a traumatic disc herniation. Um, tell you a little bit about the procedure make an incision on the right side of the neck and dissect down to the spine. It takes about five minutes to get uh, everything positioned and surgically prepared to take out the disc. We use a retractor to hold the tissues back and provide access. And then um, we use a microscope to safely get down to the disc and remove it, take the uh, disc herniation fragments off the spinal cord. And then there's a bit of bony work with a small drill and some curettes to shave some of the old cartilage off of the bone and prepare it to accept the disc replacement. So this process in all takes about maybe uh, an hour total to get the surgery completed. I'll show you some x-rays of uh, surgery throughout and then some pictures after the surgery so you can see what the disc replacement is. Looks like the product I'm using is a Sentinel Spine Pro Disc C Spacer. It's a great product, been around for a long time. It has some unique biomechanical components that uh, I really like, and that's why I use it. So, uh, more information to come. Okay, so just finished up with the disc replacement. Everything went super smooth. Uh, took about an hour and 15 minutes. <coughs> Patient should be going home in two to three hours as the anesthesia wears off. I'm gonna show you a couple pictures and uh, walk you through a couple more details here in a sec.